All right, we are live, guys. What is going on? It's Brando Linux here, and today I want to actually share with you guys a couple tips. I've done a couple videos on this when it comes to making extra money before something. All right, and this could be before a vacation, before you have to go to school, like college, university, before it starts up again, uh, before semester, before you have to pay off your credit card. All right, because there's a number of ways you can go about doing this. There's some ways you can do it. And it's like one and done, right? Selling things around your house, selling a car, selling a TV. Like you do it once and it's done. And then there's other ways you can do it in which you have consistency. And that's really what I want to talk about here. And I want to use an example. As you can tell uh, in the title of this video, I want to talk about how you can actually make extra money as an example before a wedding or even for a wedding. All right, for your friend's wedding, for your own wedding, or for someone's wedding in general. Um, the reality is when it comes down to this, if you want to do this consistently through, let's say you have six months till this wedding or a month till this wedding, or you have some time, you have some leisure time. I'm going to say you have two months. All right. So 60 days. Now you could sell things around your house or sell things in general. You could uh, do raffles. All right. You could do events and you could organize events locally, like charitable events kind of where you can do draws, prizes for your with your local community and churches and organizations where they can put in money to help you know the, the wedding out. Um, you can do that. However, when it comes to consistency, those are more like one and done type things. And if you do events all the time, which are really good, fundraisers, events, they're really good uh, to raise funds, to raise money. But if you want to make extra money for a wedding, all right, that's consistent, I would suggest looking into uh, businesses all right looking into different businesses entrepreneurial entrepreneurial ventures um, there's a lot of easy things you can get started with through the internet which is one of the best tips I would give you look at starting an online business um, it doesn't take you that much to get started as with if you're looking at a traditional approach you're looking at a storefront employees maybe getting a loan from the bank which can be an absolute headache absolutely crazy and uh, being realistic you just cannot probably if you have to wait two months or six months till this wedding it's just uh, it's not gonna be realistic for you to actually make money you're gonna be down money then you are gonna be making money before uh, an event like a wedding so when it comes to online I'll break it down for you guys in very simple form this is just how I would approach it so this is one example in this one video and take it or leave it alright but it's very simple so to make extra money through the internet to build a business online you need to have a couple things in place really only two and that is you need to have an offer alright something that you can offer to the marketplace to people online if you don't have something you can offer to people online well you're not gonna make money because people buy things which things are offers alright you go to a restaurant you sit down there you order something off the menu that's their offer you go to Amazon they have offers all there you go to eBay they have offers all there that's how people make money and that's how those sites make money so you need to have an offer all right and I'll give you a tip on offers there's digital offers there's physical offers physical offers are like clothes watches hats uh, digital offers are like music digital downloads digital coaching mentoring like kinda like online school you pay for courses and stuff like that let's that's, that's like online products and offers that you can sell um, now the big question is well Brando do I have to create all this stuff um, or should I create this stuff on my own or is there a way I can sell things that are already created for me yes you can do one or the other I would suggest reselling things other people have created so there's actually offers out there this is called affiliate marketing there's offers out there that you can resell on the internet and you can make money so let's say for an example somebody created a hundred dollar product online and when you sell that hundred dollar product you make seventy dollars alright do you think you can make extra money all right you know to, for that wedding if you did that well it takes away the time of you having to create a product which is really good which means that now you have an offer so now you just need to bring that offer to people who are actually looking for it which brings us to the next thing all right so first and foremost write down in your notes you need to have an offer all right and then when you have an offer you need to identify who the offer is for because it's not for everyone and that's where people who try and make money online they completely screw it up because they kinda pitch their stuff all over the place therefore they make no money um, and if you wanna make money in a short period of time or in a period of time like you got a wedding coming up all right and then this is a good way to go about it you ask yourself who's the offer for all right is it for men women is it jewelry is it you know working out how to lose weight who is it for and who can benefit from it 
And then when you identify who that is, all right, and who it's for, you want to market to that group. So you want to create videos for those people. You want to create uh, blog posts and articles and content and pictures to help those people out. All right, does that make sense? And you don't want to pitch them on the product. All right, you want to give just free tips, free value. Like if you have a hundred dollar product, you sell it, you make seventy dollars, and this product is on like health and fitness, how to lose five pounds in two weeks, then the content you want to create is you want to create tips for women and males, all right, young, old, and seniors, all right, on how to lose, you know, five pounds in two weeks or how to lose 10 pounds in a month. You just want to create a lot of free content to those people who are interested in losing weight because that's your target demographic. Those are people who would probably be interested in that offer. Does that make sense? And when you give them that free content through Instagram pictures, through Twitter tweeting, Facebook posts, through YouTube videos, that free content, because it's not talking about your product and offer, it's talking about what things can do for them. Like you're giving them free tips, free advice, as if your best friend would ask you, hey, do you have any tips you can give me on how to lose five pounds in two weeks? And you wouldn't say, oh, buy this product. No, you just give them free tips, work out a little bit more, diet yourself, right? When you give free tips and advice to people, they like, know, and trust you. You build rapport with that person. And then they're more than likely, if you do share with them after you give them you know, free advice, free tips, if you share with them your product and service, they'll be more than likely and more than open to actually looking at it and buying it and that is when you make money. Does it make sense? I know it's a little bit you know, convoluted for some of you guys, but you have to have an offer, identify who your offer is for, and then create content to the people who that offer is for all right, and that's all you have to do to make money because you bring people in by giving value where they like, know, and trust you, and then you can share with them your offer and they will buy it in drones. It's not even sell selling, it's not even pitching people, all right, because you've given them so much free value in turn that they want to know what it is that you're offering. Does that make sense? I hope so. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Some of you guys are gonna have to rewatch this video, that is totally fine. If you do have questions or anything, uh, I have put together a five video training series on my website. If you're interested in making money online or building a business online and you want to do it for a wedding, even though a wedding was an example in this video or before a birthday, or you want to do this consistently so you can quit your job, you're serious about doing this consistently, you want to be your own boss, you want to make extra income or have a side income, then uh, go check out my site. Like I said, there's a five video training series there walking you through how to build a business online, how I was able to from April 2014 go from working at Red Lobster as a baker to September 2014, five months, uh, create a full-time income in that period of time. And it took hard work, lots of effort, lots of time, but uh, I mean, it was well worth it in the end and I share it all with you guys there. So go check it out. And other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care and peace out.